What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You're riding with tight white, I forgot the hat. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I'm an animal. Welcome back to DVDs, nuts, and popcorn. You're riding with tight white, of course. Today's my non-cheat day. I'm very let down in myself right now. Extremely let down. I got up super late today. I drank way too much Old English malt liquor yesterday. I woke up at noon, did some stuff on the computer, and then I jumped in the car, hitting up the thrift stores in my area, and I was, I'm starving. It's like 2 o'clock, so I get this idea, okay, I'm going to go to a fast food place and I'm going to get a salad. That's kind of my, my go-to. When I didn't eat and I'm out and about, I'll get like a windy salad or something like that, right? Oh God, them fries are good. Mmm. So I saw a Whataburger, that's the first thing I saw. Get into the drive-thru. In the face of that drive-thru, I folded under pressure and ordered a number one. The question of the day is, is Whataburger, excuse me, fry went down the wrong pipe. Is Whataburger the greatest fast food burger on the planet? Okay, before you guys are, are too hard on me, it's kind of un-American to order a salad from Whataburger. I mean, there's not too many things that are more American than Whataburger. You know, the list goes apple pie, Whataburger, what would be third? The American flag. Oh my God. Fries are perfectly salted. I usually don't big up the fries at, at Whataburger. These are hitting on a whole new level. Oh God, I love when they when they have fries in the bottom of the bag. It's my favorite. I almost think they do that on on purpose. I don't think I've ever ordered a Whataburger by itself, but I think it's a tactic on Whataburger's part. McDonald's does this shit too. You'll order, if you order, well I, I think I have. If you order a burger by itself, They'll throw one fry in the, in the fucking bag. Just to hook you from next time. You grab your burger and there's a fry in there. You're like, I ain't order fries. Hey, there's one fry in here. You eat it. And you're addicted to fries all over again. I know we've done a water burger video on my channel before. I don't care. We're going to do a thousand of them. Let's look at this thing. Oh, shit. Look at that shit right there. Look at that. Look at that sourdough skid marks. It's beautiful. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit's falling apart. Look at this fucking thing, man. Oh my god. Look at the mustard. What the fucking pickle is that? Look how small that is. Cussing too much. I don't know what's going on. Now, there's the argument. What is traditional? To put 
They actually put their cheese on the bottom. Forgot about that. To put the condiments on top, or not condiments, to put the tomatoes, lettuce, and onions on top, or to put them on the bottom. Look at this thing. I don't even want to fuck around with this thing because I don't know how many pickles are on there. They got, I, I can leave it to them to always have the perfect pickle onion ratio. This burger is amazing looking. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm about to have some fun here. Oh, man, this thing is so messy. Oh, look at this thing. I don't want to turn it too much because it's going to... It's going to fall everywhere. This is the messiest water burger I've ever eaten. Mmm. Mmm. taste of that burger almost makes me forgive them for not having bottled water. I try to get a bottle of water, they don't have it. So I had to get Sprite, which is another no-no in my diet. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 That lettuce crunch is un- parallel to any fast food spot in this country. It's almost like they have a garden inside the Whataburger with like black lights growing it or something. Like this is like on another, this is like lettuce chronic Mmm, mmm. That mustard. Hold on, guys. I really have to gather myself here. If they sell that, that mustard in a bottle at H-E-B or Kroger's, I will never buy, what's the major mustard brands? I can't even think of the mustard brands. This, this burger has me so discombobulated in my head right now, I can't even think of things that should be right at the tip of my tongue. I'll put pictures of the mustard brands. Is it Heinz? No, Heinz is ketchup. Whatever the major mustard brand is, it is no longer number one in my book. Whataburger has the best mustard on this planet. Hmm. 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 I have to take a break from it. I almost feel like I'm doing something illegal. Is Whataburger the greatest fast food burger on the planet? I have to go down the line of, of items here. McDonald's has a very strong portfolio because it has so many bangers. Is this better than the Big Mac? Yes. Is it better than the Homestyle Burger? Yes. Shall I even have to think about this? Is it better than the Quarter Pounder? Yes. What else do they have? 
Okay, In-N-Out Burger. I've already tried In-N-Out Burger. It was way better than In-N-Out Burger. I don't think I've tried the Baconator at Wendy's, but I don't think it's even on the same playing field. They stepped their fry game up lately. I'm telling you right now. I usually talk shit about their fries. Oh, man. I'm telling you right now. This feels like I'm doing something really illegal here. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, this is orgasmic. When you bite into that pickle and that mustard consumes your taste buds and then right behind it, that onion crunch and that lettuce just crackles. Oh man, it is such a glorious experience. My daughter's gonna kill me when she finds out I've done this. I've done what I've done today. That's why she's not here. That's why Taylor's not here because I was ashamed of myself. Why do I feel like I'm sitting at an angle? I am sitting at an angle. Mmm, stuff is so good. I'm not a big straw and lid guy. I to be honest with you. Ugh. I like to feel the ice cubes on my lips as I suck down some, well, usually water, but we're doing Sprite today. Look at all the lettuce. I mean, this is a salad. It's a salad on the best tasting hamburger, but plenty of salad here. I've never had so many veggies on my Whataburger before. They, they really overdid it. I'm not complaining though. Mmm. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite fast food burger is. This stuff is incredible. Trying to get a thumbnail going, guys. I'm straight out of furlough. You're riding with tight white. Straight out of a job. Straight out of COVID. <clears throat> straight out of a diet. Is Whataburger better than the Whopper. Yes, it is. And I'm big fans of the Whopper. I'm big fans of the Big Mac. I'm big fans of the Quarter Pounder. I'm big fans of the Homestyle Burger. I feel like that's one of the most underrated burgers in fast food history. If it wasn't so damn small, it would be up there as one of my favorites, the top of the list. Um, 
I feel like it was made in the response to the Whopper. It has some water, some Whopper-esque qualities to it. The onion game is very strong on the home style. I'm not going to talk too much more about it because we're going to make a video about that. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, I'm just destroying this meal. Best thing I've had all week. The Whataburger is so good. I like how it's in the background right there. The Whataburger is so good that you see people make videos about it all the time comparing it to Five Guys. Five Guys is not a fast food restaurant, guys. Comparing it to, um, what's the other one they compare it to? in and out is a fast food restaurant, but Five Guys is not. And then there's another one was it fat burger i can't remember but they always compare it to these places that are not even fast food restaurants because it's it's the burger game is so strong at whataburger that you have to people have to compare it with fast casual or casual burgers which which you can't do that because it's in its own lane it's it's versus the wendy's of the world the burger kings the mcdonald's the in and outs you can't compare it to a fast casual It's like comparing Taco Bell to Hugo's Mexican food. A lot of you, a lot of you might not know what that is, but that's like one of the number one ranked Mexican restaurants in the world or in the United States. I've never been there, but I, I saw an article online of the top 25 Mexican restaurants in the United States, and that was ranked two. So yeah. Every place has its lane. Stop putting Whataburger in the wrong lane, guys. I almost want to go back in there and order another one of these damn things. Okay, I have something else I want to talk about. So, was it Sunday? Was it church day? No. Was it Saturday? Saturday. Was it Saturday? Yeah, it was Saturday. So on Saturday, I go to my nephew's soccer game, right? My daughter and myself, we leave there, and my car has a flat tire in the parking lot. So, you know, I'm a real man and I'm, you know, of the age where I'm not one of these soft kids that, you know, call AAA or whatever, their insurance company. You know, I changed the tire. I have what's called a donut. It's a smaller tire. And um, so you're not supposed to go a certain miles an hour on it. You're supposed to keep it think to 35 miles an hour you're not supposed to drive on it too long it's just to get you from point a to point b to put a to get a real tire on it right so it was late so i just went home and i thought after church on sunday i'm gonna go and get my tire replaced right well guess what all the tire places in my area were closed on sunday so it's like what what is the deal with that I understand Chick-fil-A closes on Sundays because of its 
because of Christianity and its, you know, its beliefs, its religious beliefs. That's a day of the Lord, so they close. <laughs> but I don't think Chick-fil-A owns all the tire companies in my, my area. You know, I don't understand that. People get flat tires on every day of the week. You think people don't get flat tires on Sundays? You think one person would be smart enough to say, hey, all these other places are closing up on Sunday. We're going to keep our tire shop open on Sunday and make a killing. I don't know. I've been out of work since March. Maybe what I'll do is... What's up, homeless guy? Maybe what I'll do is... I'll open a tire shop. And the only day that I'm going to be open is on Sundays. All right, I just destroyed that. Oh, shit, I got more fries. Oh, gets you every time, doesn't it? Gets me every time. Kroger's doesn't close on Sundays. HEB doesn't close on Sundays. Verizon Wireless doesn't close on Sundays. Why is a tire place closing on Sundays? If Chick-fil-A closes on Sundays, I can go to Popeye's for a damn chicken sandwich. If tire place is closed, I can't do nothing. There's no secondary option. really upsets me. Thankfully, I have this comfort food to eat. Alright, guys, that's it. Did I break a window in this video? No, I did. Alright, let me take a sip of this and I'll close it out. Man, what a meal. I'm giving that Whataburger a 4.8. Yep, guys, I said it. Amazing score. All right, yes, it is the best fast food burger on the planet. I said it. I put my name on it. You're riding with tight white. Thank you for checking out DVD's Nuts and Popcorn. And hit the notification bell so you know when new content comes out. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll talk to you guys later. And peace out!